What's going on everybody? My name is Zach Hartley and welcome back to another weekly watch list video. Sorry I haven't been making these videos recently. It's been a busy couple of weeks. I spent a week in Mexico and I also just recently started a brand new 3D printing business. I've got 43 printers in my basement right now and a little side hustle has now turned into a full-time business and I'm going to make some videos about it in the future. Uh, but for right now, I want to dive into the weekly watch list and kind of catch up on where things are at since my last video. First of all, the NASDAQ, super interesting chart. It has made a nice, beautiful recovery, but it looks like it is stalling out just a little bit at roughly the same levels uh, of basically previous all-time highs that we hit in late 2021. When it comes to the S&P 500, we broke out of those 2021 highs and we are continuing in a bullish direction. We are currently above both of our moving averages, but we are basically testing that shorter 20 day moving average. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this upcoming week goes. We also have the Dow Jones. We again broke out of those 2021 all time highs. We are in a bullish trend right now. Um, but it does look like we're starting to approach some resistance. So again, it'll be interesting to see how the next few weeks go. When it comes to the VIX or the volatility index, it is trading in a bearish direction. It is increasing just a little bit over the last few months here, but nothing that we really need to be super concerned about. When it comes to Bitcoin, we did set new all-time highs at $72,500 USD, but we are pulling back right now to 65,000. So it's gonna be, it's going to be interesting to see if this bull trend continues. We have had a beautiful run up to all time highs. It looks like now we have pulled back. Obviously, people are starting to take profit. So it'll just be kind of like how long and how many people are going to be selling at these new highs um, before we just start accumulating again. Now, if you're looking for somewhere to buy and sell different cryptocurrencies or somewhere to store it or somewhere to just manage it, I personally use both Newton and Coinbase. There are links in my bio and in the description to this video. If you wanna check out any of those links, you can earn up to a $25 totally free just for opening an account and making a trade of $100 or more. Next thing I wanna talk about here is West Texas Light Crude. The price is slowly increasing. We are in a new bullish trend. I also expect this to increase over time. So it's gonna be interesting uh, to see what happens here with regards to all of the conflicts that are happening around the world. One thing that is pulling back though is uranium. Uranium reached all time highs around, not all time highs, basically 10 or 12 year highs, around $106 and it is now pulled back to $91 US per pound. So it does look like we're starting to enter a bearish trend, which is not great for any of the uranium stocks, but the lithium stocks are starting to show us some signs of the exact opposite. We basically traded flat around 100,000, I think it's Chinese yen per ton. We are now up by 16% to 116.5, which is very, very nice to see. And if this is the beginning of a new bullish trend, that means this week is gonna be the week to buy lithium stocks. When it comes to earnings this week, we've got a couple of companies that are gonna be reporting, not a whole lot going on at the beginning of the week with regards to companies that I follow. I do watch Xpeng a little bit. I'm also watching Pinduo Duo a lot more recently. We've got Micron and Chewy reporting Wednesday afterwards, and then Thursday's sort of the big day. We've got Nike, we got Lululemon, and we got FedEx all reporting after the close. When it comes to market conditions, it's gonna be a big week with regards to interest rates, the US Fed is gonna make their announcement on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern time. The Bank of Canada already made their announcement and they decided to hold their interest rates at 5%. And we did get a key piece of news over the last little while and that was that inflation actually went up in February. Now, the US Federal Reserve is increasing interest rates to bring down inflation. And so when inflation goes up month over month, it makes them hesitate with regards to lowering rates. And it makes them basically want to hold on to the current interest levels for longer until that inflation begins to go back down and head towards 2%. And so I am expecting, and most people are expecting them to hold interest rates steady at 5% and start lowering them later in the year we are likely to see higher rates for longer though in the event that something crazy doesn't happen. I think we're gonna be in that range of maybe three to four and a half percent for the foreseeable future. Now, with regards to stocks to watch this week, the number one stock for me is Albemarle. We have talked about lithium. We just talked about how we may have hit a bottom and we may be starting to rebound. Albemarle is one of those companies that should do extremely well in the event that prices begin to go back up. I also think they have some major support right around 106 to 110 right here. So I'm watching the price of lithium 
and then I am watching this stock and if both of them begin to go back up, that is going to give me my entry point. Next one here is Alibaba. This is a super interesting company. I really couldn't tell you if the Chinese economy is doing great or if it's struggling or, or if it's at the bottom right now. I don't have a good enough sense of that. What I can tell you though, is some of these companies are starting to look very cheap. Alibaba being one of them, currently trading within a channel where we have established very strong support and resistance here. And now what I am looking for is a breakout of this channel, ideally to the bullish side or the upside. And in that event, I'm looking for either a strong breakout where I'm gonna buy in right away, or a short breakout and a retest and then a push higher. That is also an ideal entry point. Next company here is Brookfield Renewables. This is a company where I saw it at 29, I saw it at $30 and thought, geez, I should be buying this and I didn't buy it. It ran all the way up to 41 and now it is coming back down. And I think it's giving us another opportunity to get in at a good deal. I like this company long-term. I think they're gonna do extremely well. I also think they're gonna get much more valuable as interest rates become begin to come down throughout the year. If interest rates drop drastically, this dividend is gonna become extremely attractive to investors because it's currently sitting at 6% yield, which in my opinion is very, very attractive, especially for a long-term focused renewable energy company like this. I, I just think you're in, you're just on all of the right trends there. So I really like it. Last company right now is Apple. I'm looking at increasing and buying more shares and Apple is currently sitting on support at $170. I like the company. They're one of the best run companies in the world. And to me, the Vision Pro seems like a massive success. I've talked to a couple of people that have bought it and are giving me their honest opinion. Everybody seems to like it and people are talking about it differently than they're talking about the MetaQuest. So that's it for this video. If you guys are interested in learning more about how I do this, how I find stocks and how I run my analysis, definitely consider checking out my stock market fundamentals course. I also have courses on Skillshare for options trading, for building your credit score, for day trading pretty much anything you need with regards to personal finance and investing. I put all of my content in an easy to organize and easy to go through basically course series all on Skillshare, totally free. You get one month free access if you sign up with the link in the description down below. And that's it with the sales pitch. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I sincerely appreciate it. I'm gonna keep trying to do this a lot more regularly. If you got any value out of it, please remember to pick that like and subscribe button and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.